Like you show the radar and you're telling everyone that it's coming down in droves. But thank you, Dr. West, <laughs> for sending that in. Now, here is a look at a photo sent in by Dave Powers. Now, this one doesn't look like it came down in buckets like it did uh, up in the Truckee area. But the story and the request for me is going to be the same. If you have a photo you want to share, don't be stingy. Share it with us. You can upload it to the ABC 10 app. You're going to click on weather and then you're going to scroll down, look for the weather force tab and you'll see instructions on how you can add your photos. When we share your photos, it really helps round out the weather story. So I'm just going to say thank you in advance for helping us out with that. Here's a look at our almanac. Average daytime high is 56. Yesterday was 51. Take a look at something else that happened yesterday. More than an inch of rainfall in Sacramento. Yeah, yeah, I'm so excited. We got some rainfall and more rain is coming in. Of course, you don't want too much at one time, but we all know that we're in a drought. We all know we need the rainfall. So anything that we get, you know, I want to do a little jig. Here's a look at something else we're watching. Winter storm warning is still in effect. We are again still looking at the opportunity for more rounds of snowfall coming in through this evening. The opportunity for snowfall again until 4 a.m. tomorrow morning. 10 to 18 inches of new snow above 7,000 feet and something else. With the opportunity for rain showers, we have a flash flood watch in effect until 5 o'clock this evening. And that's going to be for the area shaded in green here. That does include Sacramento down through Stockton and Modesto. Even parts of the Bay Area, local flooding, ponding on roadways. Zach just showed you some of that. And again, with the water on the roadways, we always ask that you turn around and don't drown. Also, something else in the forecast for today. We had the opportunity for thunderstorms. It's primarily for the western edge of the valley for parts of the Bay Area. Any of those thunderstorms that do develop could produce some heavy rainfall as well as some small sized hail. So here's a look at our latest storm highlights. Rain and snow continues in the forecast. Finally beginning to kind of uh, taper off early Friday morning. Gusty winds will be in the forecast today. Uh, bursts of gusty winds, not all day long. But again, you could have a, a, a few gusty winds coming in here or there. I'm not going to rule it out. Chance of thunderstorms in the forecast, again, with the opportunity for heavy rain and small-sized hail. And heavy Sierra snow remains in the forecast as well. Here's a look at the satellite and the radar. What's causing all of this is a huge low pressure system that's going to be moving its way across the state. On the back end of it, though, that's where we get those southeasterly winds. That is taking all of that subtropical moisture, everything on the Pacific Ocean, and just dumping it right in our back door. Take a look at who's picking up what right now. And the orange and the yellow showing the best opportunity for heavy rainfall. That's through Antioch into Livermore. And once you get to Sacramento, it's the lighter shade of green, so lighter rain fall, but don't rule us out. We can see rounds of heavier rainfall moving through the area today as well. And with the opportunity again for that rainfall is where the ponding on the roadways and that flash flood watch comes into effect. The opportunity for snow showers again will be heavy at times. And here's a look at how much more we could see in the areas we're most concerned about. Three to 4,000 feet in elevation, additional 12 to 18 inches at Donner, 12 to 18 inches at Echo. And here's a look at how much more rainfall we could see close to an inch in Placerville, close to two tenths of an inch of more rainfall in Sacramento. Sacramento. Here's a look at the weather timeline. Cloudy conditions with rain showers in the forecast. That is going to be well through this evening into tonight and finally tapering off Friday morning. So what happens through the weekend? Saturday looks like it'll be relatively dry, but I got more rain showers back in the forecast Sunday and Monday. Looks like we'll finally dry out by the middle of next week.